hello guys welcome to this presentation i'm going to do something on equation of a straight line that is what i'm going to do i have a question uh, this is a kcsc question um uh, we want to navigate through this question and uh, to get to learn um, a few um, concepts so i invite you i welcome you if you are very new, feel most welcome. Uh, don't forget to uh, uh, click on the subscribe button and um, uh, you will be able to get the latest updates. For my subscribers who are returning back to always watch my videos I post, a very big thank you to uh, you continue sharing uh, this um, uh, presentation and um, uh, God is going to bless you so much. So welcome, let us um, get into our today's business. A line L passes through points negative uh, 2, 3, and uh, another point negative 1, 6. And this line is perpendicular to another line P uh, at, a, uh, uh, at a point negative 1, 6. So we are supposed to find the equation of uh, uh, line L. We are supposed to find the equation of line L. So without wasting time, um, we need to remember that uh, the first thing we need to have here are the points. This uh, line L is passing through a point. The, the first point is in, um, a negative 2, comma 3. And the next point is um, uh, negative uh, 1, comma 6, negative 1, comma 6. So, remember, all these are x coordinates. Eh? This is x, this is x1, and this is uh, x2. This is um, y1, and this is y2. We need to find the gradient. That is the first thing. We find the gradient. How do we find the gradient? The gradient is given by the change in y over change in x. What do we mean? What do I mean by the change in y? The change in y simply means uh, y2 in this case y2 minus y1 over the change in x, which is x2 minus x1. This is going to give us the gradient. What is y2? Y2 is in fact six, and then y1 is three. And then what is x2? x2 is negative 1. And then y, uh, x1 is in fact negative um, 2. So minus minus 2. So this one is going to give us positive. So we're going to get uh, 3. We're going to get 3 and then uh, over 1. So our gradient, our m1 is in fact 3. Our m1 is 3. Now that we have our m1, we can decide to uh, select a point, any point, uh, uh, between the two negative 2, comma 3 and the negative 4, 1, comma 6. I prefer negative um, 2, comma 3 as a point plus the gradient. We can generate the question. So this is our x and this is our y. We can uh, go ahead and say uh, the equation is given by y minus 3 over x minus minus 2 now is equals to 3 minus minus changes to positive so we have y uh, minus 3 uh, over x and plus 2 is equals to 3 we can say over 1 we cross multiply after doing cross multiplication we'll find that um, we have y minus 3 is equals to uh, this is um, uh, 3x then plus 6 we put like terms together y is equals to 3x then uh, we have a negative 3 here. when it goes to the other side it becomes positive so we have plus uh, plus 9 this is the equation for uh, our line l equation for our line l very important let us proceed to the next part that says find the equation of p in the form ax plus by is equals to c where a b c are constants we have been told that line L is perpendicular to line P. Now, this information is enough. Perpendicular lines have the product of perpendicular. The 
product of the gradient of perpendicular lines is in fact negative 1. So we say uh, m1 we multiply by m2 this one will give us negative 1 in the sense that gradient 1 you multiply by gradient 2 will give you a product of negative 1. We already have gradient 1 as 3. So we say 3m2 is equals to negative 1. So we divide both sides by 3 by 3. So our m2 is in fact negative a third. This is the, sec the, 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 the second gradient and we are going to use this gradient and a point to get um, uh, the equation of uh, uh, line p by saying the point is in fact negative 1 comma 6 that is the point so we say y minus 6 over x plus 1 is equals to negative a third we cross multiply when we cross multiply like this we are going to get we are going to get um, 3y minus 18 is equals to negative x minus 1 so we, our final answer must follow this criteria. So we are going to say, um, we are going to say that um, this x will come to this left hand side. Then we have positive x, and then plus three y is equals to our um, eighteen minus one. So x plus three y is equals to seventeen. So this is the equation for what? For line P. The next part, given that another line Q is parallel to L, parallel to L, let us write down the equation for uh, line, line L. The equation was y is equals to 3x plus 9. We all know that parallel lines have same gradient. So parallel lines, same gradient, same uh, gradient. So we are going to say that even the gradient of Q, the gradient of Q, the gradient of Q, the gradient of Q is in fact 3. The gradient of Q is 3. Now that we have a point that is 1, 2 and we already have the gradient, we can go ahead and say the equation will be y minus 2 over x minus 1 is equals to 3 over 1. We cross multiply. We end up getting y minus 2 is equals to 3x minus 3. So our final answer is in fact y um, is equals to 3x then minus 3 plus, um, plus 2 which is going to give us y is equals to 3x minus 1. So this is the equation for line what? For line q. Uh, but we are not yet done. We have been told to find the x and y intercept. So we proceed and say at x intercept, at x intercept, y is equals to 0. So back to the equation, we have the equation that says y is equals to 3x minus 1. Where we see y, we replace with the 0. 0 is equals to 3x minus 1. So this is the same as saying negative 3x is equals to negative 3x is equals to um, negative 1. We divide both sides by negative 3 by negative 3. So x is a third. x is a third. This is the x intercept. At y intercept at y intercept x is equals to 0. Back to the equation, we say y is equals to a 3x minus 1. Where we see x, we substitute with the 0. y is equals to 3, we multiply by 0 minus 1. So y is equals to negative 1. We already have the answer. We already have the answers. So the x-intercept is a third. y-intercept is in fact negative 1. And we are done. Let us move to the... Um, last part let us move to the last part of this um, of this uh, equation of this equation it it reads it reads find the point of intersection of line p and the q find the point of intersection of line p and the q so we want to write down the equations for the two lines and at the point of intersection this is where the two lines meet so this is uh, 
the point of intersection intersection this is where they intersect intersection we want to write the equation for p we write the equation for p let us write the equation for p uh, for p the equation was um, x plus 3y is equals to 17 x plus 3y is equals to 17 so for p we say for p we say x plus 3y is equals to 17 what about for q for q um y is equals to 3x minus 1 that was the equation that was the equation now under this the two equations are going to meet and i mean the two lines are going to meet at a point when they meet at a point it means that uh, we are going to equate the two equations we are going to equate the two equations by saying it is uh, 3x minus 1 is equals to um, 3x minus 1 is equals to x plus 3y then minus 17 x plus 3y minus 17 now uh, under this um, we are going to we are going to ignore the y's. We are going to ignore the y's. We are going to ignore the y's. This y was not supposed to be there. So I'm going to rewrite this equation well by saying that uh, this equation is going to be y is equals to um, negative x over 3 then plus uh, 17 over 3. So we are going to say this is the right equation that we are going to use now. We are going to say 3x minus 1 is equals to negative x over 3, then plus 17 over 3, 17 over 3, plus 17 over 3. My pen is misbehaving. Yes, my pen uh, is bringing problems here, but I've worked on it. So it is 17 over 3 17 over 3 now we put like terms together we are going to have 3x then plus x over 3 is equals to uh, 1 plus 17 over 3 that is what we have now in this case um uh let me cancel this let me cancel this this was the right one the right equation that time we used at uh, the lcm here is 3 so this one will be 9x plus x is equals to uh, the LCM here is 3. Uh, so it is going to be uh, 3 plus 17. This one is going to be 10x over 3 is equals to 20 over 3. Um, we want to eliminate the uh, denominator so we multiply both sides by 3. So these 3 and 3 will cancel, 3 and 3 will cancel. So we end up having 10x is equals to 20. We divide by 10, we divide by 10. x is equals to 2. Now that we have x, we go back to the equation and say, but we all know that x plus 3y, um, x plus 3y, in fact, uh, is equals to 17. So where we see x, we replace that with a 2. So we will say 2 plus 3y, is equals to 17 put like terms together 3y is equals to 17 we take away 2 so 3y is equals to 15 we divide both sides by 3 by 3 we end up having y as 5 so we can go ahead and say the point the point of intersection point of mm, intersection the point of intersection is in fact given by the coordinate that is uh, 2 comma 5 so this is the point where the two lines meet. Thank you so much for watching. Um, share this video widely and um, keep on uh, subscribing. Thank you.